Hi, hello everyone. My name is Abdul Karim. This is a tutorial to show you how to prepare a Microsoft Word uh, document uh, before we can convert the document into an EPUB or MOBI. That is the standard format um, of ebook. So um, on the screen here, you can see I have a Microsoft Word file. Uh, this is actually on the left here, it's actually the plain. Uh, Microsoft Word file before it is uh, formatted. So if I scroll down, this is the top, this is the title of the book, and this is a subtitle, my name, and the next page is a copyright page, and this is a dedication page, which is uh, optional. Then the table of content, we're going, we can, uh, we're going to put a table of content here. Then this is the acknowledgement uh, page, the preface or introduction. Then this is where the, uh, the actual uh, book start. Uh, so I have uh, two parts in this uh, document or in this manuscript. Part one, there will be a few chapters in part one. So we start with chapter one, and I start chapter one. Every chapter usually uh, I I like I like to put a quote here. Then the paragraph uh, start here. Then if I scroll down, uh, this only short ch chapter for this exercise. I have chapter 2 here at the end of this uh, document Then I scroll down again and chapter 3 there Chap uh, now uh, that's the end of part 1 which is uh, there are 3 chapters there and this is the beginning of part 2 and uh, continue with chapter 5 chapter 6 chapter 7 chapter 8 chapter 9 and chapter 10 so that's the end of the manuscript and there's, there's a, a information about the author at the end of this document. So that's it. So this is actually a plain, unformatted Microsoft Word document. On the right here, this is actually how the final um, document after we apply a proper uh, formatting, as you can see here. Uh, the title is in bold and bigger font and the subtitle and uh, the author's name and the title is actually centered uh, vertically on the page okay and the next page uh, there's a copyright uh, text there and dedication page and here uh, I have inserted the table of content so I will show you how to insert this table of content after you have applied the proper uh, formatting this we do towards the end and uh, the, the acknowledgement and preface. Now, a uh, part one here, um, I insert a picture and I center uh, vertically on this page. Then chapter one start here at the top of this page. And you can see I have formatted the, the code in different color and um, the text. It's just a normal text and chapter 2 begin again here and I scroll down chapter 3 all the chapter start at the beginning of the page so chapter 4 here and now uh, so there are four chapters in part 1 then this is the beginning of part 2 again I have a picture so this kind of a divider between different parts of the or different section of the Microsoft uh, of the word file here then start with chapter 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and information for the authors at the, at the end here so you can see the difference between the plain text document after before and uh, after formatting so after we have formatted the, the word document properly uh, in the next uh, video, in the next unit, I will show you how to format and convert this um, Microsoft Word document using an uh, application called Calibre or Calibre. And we will apply a proper uh, conversion here. Uh, this will be in the next video. And uh, put in the cover page. And finally, we will open uh the, the resulting the epub 
uh, EPUB uh, format in the previewer. So this is how the books, the final books looks like uh, from the Microsoft Word. In, and then we convert into EPUB using uh, Calibre. So this is basically this is a table of content that we have inserted in the, in the Word document. And this part one begin here, and chapter one, and, and so on. So basically, uh, I will show first um, in the first video here, in the first tutorial, how to format this uh, plain Word document and get this as a result. So basically, um, when you work in Microsoft Word, um, to prepare the Microsoft Word document into a proper format for conversion into EPUB, the most important thing is you must work with style. So <clears throat> I'm using Microsoft Word uh, version 2016, I think, 2017 here. This is the latest version, which I download uh, from uh, Microsoft 365. So your Microsoft Word may be uh, of a different version or maybe the older version. So maybe it looks slightly different in terms of how the different menu here is uh, uh, displayed or located. But the most important thing, you just need to find the style, the style um, like you can see here. So basically, uh, what we want to do is to apply a proper style into the heading or the subheading or the text uh, in the document. Um, I prefer to use this um, style pane here. And again, uh, your Microsoft Word version maybe works slightly different, but basically what you want to find is where you can find heading one, heading two, heading three, and, and so on here, okay? So now let's start with the first page here. Uh, this is title of the book. So for the title of the book, I want to apply a style called title. So you should be able to find the heading, no, sorry, the style called title in your in your style uh, menu or list. So all you need to do is to highlight the title and then click uh, the title uh, style here to apply. Um, so there's a actually predefined format. If I put a cursor here, so the style is font, you can see here, font 26, uh, and all those uh, text is actually the description here, the style applied for the title here as defined by the Microsoft Word document. You can actually change the style and redefine the style, but I don't want to uh, spend time on, on, the, on here. So I just show whatever style that's already predefined by Microsoft Word here. But after you apply the style, you can still actually apply, you know, change the font if you like, change, the, make it uh, in the middle here, and uh, make it bigger or smaller. So you can still apply the normal formatting uh, available on the ribbon here. So I want um, to center the subtitle and my name here. Okay, so, and, um, okay, I want to, to put these three lines here and center it in the middle. Uh, between the top and the bottom page, okay? Um, so I just want to apply on this page. I want to make it in, in the middle. So um, what I can do, I highlight these three lines here and I go to uh, Format, Document, and here, under Page, Vertical Alignment, I want to, currently is on the top, I want to center it but I don't want to apply this to the whole document, but I just want to apply to the selected text. Then I click OK. Then you can see now the text is centered in the middle of the page between the top and the bottom page. Okay, so, um, okay, by doing that, I have created a blank page here. So I don't want the blank page here. Okay, uh, what I can do here, there's a this symbol here, this is actually a, uh, <coughs> a paragraph formatting. If you turn it on, you can see all the formatting, like where you put a paragraph break, where you put it, where you press enter, 
where you apply the section break to separate the page or separate the section. So if you scroll down, you can find, oh, there is a page break there. So all you need to do is to select this and delete so that now I have this page and I don't have a blank page between this page. Okay. So uh, you can see here, there's a paragraph mark here. So meaning, meaning that, you know, uh, I press three times return here to, to put this thing uh, slightly below, slightly down. Let me turn off the paragraph formatting first. Okay. So, okay, table of content, we will insert a table of content after we have applied all the formatting. Now, uh, acknowledgement is there, so I don't want to change anything. All right, preface, just leave it there. Okay, now, part one, I want part one to be on a separate page. So what I can do here, I can put the cursor there. Then I can uh, go to insert, or I can go to insert here and find page break. Okay, um, page break here. Or you can here use the ribbon here, insert pages and page break. Okay, so now part one is on its own page. Okay, ah, uh, I want to make this font bigger. Let's say size twenty. I want to put it in the middle. Then I want to insert a picture. I want to insert picture here. So I go to I find my pictures. Okay, this is a picture that I want to use. So I just drag it inside here. Or too big. Uh, I can resize it. Maybe slightly bigger. Okay. So um, I want to make this uh, in the middle. Or so I just select the text and the picture and go to format document and vertical alignment make it center apply to selected sections and okay so I have now the picture and the text for part one which is kind of divider for the different section here right okay now I have chapter one here so I want the chapter one to start in the middle Okay, I turn on the formatting mark here again because uh, I don't want to uh, I just delete all right okay so um, it's very important um, to have a page break for before we begin each chapter here okay so you must apply for example here we can see the page break if I delete this page break what, what happened is chapter one will start here. So uh, for ebook, uh, you want to make sure that every chapter start on its own page. So um, to to ensure that you know uh, you can uh, put the cursor anywhere uh, here in chapter one, then go to insert and find page break. So by doing by applying a page break, you can ensure that each chapter will start on its own page or at the top of the page so now I want to apply uh, highlight the uh, the name of the chapter I want to apply heading one for for the chapter or oh, um, sorry not heading one I want to apply heading two why heading two because uh, part one here I want to apply heading one Okay. Okay, make it in the middle. All right. So for the chapter heading, I apply heading two. Okay, maybe I want to make it a bit bigger, so I I choose a highlight then put uh, let's say twenty, and put it in the middle. And there's a quote there. Uh, so I, I want to uh, make the code in uh, red color just to highlight. Okay, and the name here, make it in the middle. Okay, so now we have uh, the chapter text. So 
why I don't want to format. So uh, this for the, the chapter tag is usually take the normal uh, style. You can see here when I highlight the text, you can see the, the, the style is highlighted in uh, uh, blue color here. So I go down and scroll uh, down and find chapter 2. As I said, chapter 2 now uh, start here, but I don't, I don't want each chapter to start at the beginning of the page. So again, I put the cursor here and go to insert and find page break. Okay. Then again, I highlight the title and apply heading 2. And make it in the middle. Okay. Then this is uh, the code. Make it red color. Make it in the middle. And this one too. Okay. So it looks good. Scroll down further. There's a chapter 3 again. Put the cursor there. Go to insert. So you will repeat this process. Apply. Now we come to part 2. So again. Uh, apply page break then another page break so that part 2 will be on its own page so this is part 2 so remember for part 2 we apply heading style 1 style heading 1 then again uh, center it and I want to uh, put a picture another picture so that uh, you know uh, the reader will know that, oh, okay, this is uh, the beginning of section 2 or part 2, okay? So now chapter 5, remember? So maybe um, I like to work with the paragraph for meeting on so that I know, okay, this is extra uh, written there, okay? So there's already a page break that separate this section with the, with the, with the beginning of chapter 5. So now I again repeat the same procedure, heading 2 here, uh, center it, then this is the code again, uh, center it. Okay, heading 2, home, and okay, I think we are almost done. So what we, what I'm doing here, basically, uh, just to apply the heading style to a chapter and to the section. So now I think uh, that's all we need. Uh, okay, maybe need this one again. Uh, we need a page break again. Maybe de delete the follow up about the author. Okay, so um, I think that's about all. Um, if we don't apply the heading style, when we do table of content, the heading would not be included uh, in the table of content. So it's up to you whether you want to include it in the table of content or not. So now, um, after we have applied all the heading style, now we can insert the table of content. We go to this page, table of content. Okay. Uh, then, what we can do here is go to references. You can find table of content. Then you can find uh, actually uh, a different style of what happened now. I don't see the style. You should see the display of the, the style. But you can also choose custom table of content, and you can choose uh, you know traditional, classic, contemporary modern, formal, simple. So let's see uh, try to choose, maybe you can choose a classic uh, format or you like to try also this format you can basically choose. Okay, I'll go for classic. Show level, uh, in this case uh, we don't have three, we have only two levels. So, you know, heading one, heading two. Show page number and write a line and the table leader. Okay, we can use the dotted line. Okay, then click OK. So, you have it. 
is uh, this is a table of content uh, you can actually highlight and you can uh, format it as usual so maybe I don't want bold I want to apply the bold only 72 font and maybe 12 point okay can I switch off the turn off the paragraph formatting so I think uh, now uh, our basically we have formatted our Microsoft Word document and we can now save it uh, save it save as I'll put on the desktop uh, then I call it uh, Word manuscript or method one and I put it on the desktop and save it as dot dos cx which is uh, my, the word document uh, format and we save it okay so basically that's the end of uh, this uh, tutorial uh, basically that is the uh, how you can the, that is how you format the Microsoft Word document properly uh, to prepare it before we can convert into an EPUB okay and in the next video I will show you how to use uh, an application called Caliber or Calibre some people call it to convert the Microsoft Word document that has been formatted uh, properly into an EPUB or MOBI format for an ebook and ready to be um, uploaded to Kindle, Amazon Kindle or some other uh, platform.